thank you all so much for joining us uh, for our Made in Texas interview series, where we have the opportunity to speak with filmmakers about their experience filming in Texas and their Texas connection. Isaac and Greg, thank you all so much for being with us today. And congratulations on this beautiful and important film. Thank you so much for having us. It's thank an you, honor, man. pleasure. Absolutely. If you could share a little bit with us about your story. My career actually started in music. I'm a producer, songwriter, and so my natural transition was music videos because it was the merge of film and music. I then started loving film and wanting to figure out how I can jump into narrative storytelling. We're here with Memory Builds a Monument, which is a film about a music venue that um, the music bed and the sound design is essentially the root of the film. So I think everything has kind of come full circle. Can you talk about that creative process? Because you're, you're making a documentary about a place that no longer exists. <laughs> the one thing that Isaac had was had he had some some people and I knew some people that I thought would be good. And a lot of those people had told me, yeah, we had pictures. But you know what happened? They had a flood that hit plus one of the hurricanes and all that stuff got damaged. So we take it for granted in this digital world that once something's online, it's always there. Some of the stuff could have easily got lost forever. It was vital. Right. A vital moment to save history. And I think that's what the bigger picture of this all was. Right. Now I can tell my people or my generation rather like, hey, this is something cool. And you can tap in because the songs, you know, right. People who played there, you know, Sam Cooke, you know, James Brown, you know, Aretha Franklin. But you don't know where a lot of their careers jump started. How did the community respond while you were filming? There is a group of people especially with me being an extremely younger director that they deem like, hey, don't mess this up, <laughs> right? Like, this is our history. Right. You better not mess this up. That was actually the word. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so we're going to let this young guy be the steward of, of, of pushing forward our history. And I think that's how you keep history going and how you are able to continue to pass it down. You know, when they saw us coming out with the sets and crews and Fifth Ward, what, what are you doing? What's happening? What What are you shooting? You know, the one of the coolest pieces of filming was the reenactment parts. We actually were able to film some of that at the legendary Deluxe Theater. And uh, that was really, really cool because we kind of like rebuilt mm -hmm. some of the set stuff. We got wardrobe with dancers and went through a whole thing of like really just making it try to look and feel like what we thought Madden could feel. Man, to just see all of that flow in one film and to be representing Texas is like, that's big. It's a seed that has landed on fertile ground. Isaac will be uh, humble, but I'm gonna toot his horn. You know, the movie, <laughs> the, the film uh, was nominated for an NOSB Image Award. I feel like uh, he has all the materials and the talent and ability to make one hell of a feature documentary from what we have so far. Can y'all talk about like the influence of Texas music and particularly Houston's renowned music scene on your work? Can't grow up in Texas without have listened to a little country, a little Tejano, a little Zotico, a little hip hop. It's just, it's just, it's the gumbo. Music is, it's just like the script. It's an important tool to mm -hmm. tell a story. It's, it's the new language of how people talk and communicate. It's not just. Uh, something to tap your foot to when you're listening to it. It's actually there as part of telling the story. Yeah. We can't thank you enough for taking the time and sharing your insight and your experience making this incredible short film. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.